In this lecture, we are going to create our very first Angular application. Now, in order to create an Angular application project, we first need some tools and development environment setup to start with. So in this lecture, let me show you step by step how to set up the development environment for Angular project. The first thing which you need to do is, you need to install the latest version of Node.js. A Node.js is a runtime environment for executing JavaScript code outside of the browser environment. Now, in this course, we are not going to work with Node.js, but Node.js provides some tools that we need to build Angular projects. So, if you have not already installed Node.js, then head over to nodejs.org and from here, you need to install the latest version of Node.js for your operating system. The operating system will be picked automatically by the Node website. So, I am using Windows, so you can see that Windows is already picked by Node.js website. Now, from here, you need to install the latest long-term support version of Node.js. The current long-term support version of Node.js is uh, Node.js 16. But if you are watching this lecture in future, then this version might have changed to 18 or 20 or something else. So make sure that you install the latest long-term support version of Node.js. When you will click on this button, an installer will be generated. Double-click on that installer and follow the installation steps to install Node.js on your machine. Once the Node.js is downloaded and installed on your machine, to check if Node.js is successfully installed on your machine, open Command Prompt on Windows or Terminal on Mac in Administrator mode and type this command node-version. When you press Enter, it will show you the version of the Node.js installed on your machine. So for me, in my machine, the Node.js version 14 is installed, but this version might be different for you. But as long as you are seeing this version, you are good to go. But if you are seeing any error here, that means Node.js is not properly installed on your machine. In that case, you can try reinstalling it. Once Node.js is successfully installed, now we need to install Angular CLI. Angular CLI is a command line tool which we use to create new Angular projects or to generate some boilerplate code as well as create deployable packages. And to install Angular CLI globally, you can use this npm command. So again, let's go back to command prompt. Now, to install a package from npm, we use npm command and then install. And here, we want to install the package globally. For that, we can specify global. So this global command tells npm to install a package globally. If we don't use global here, then Angular CLI package will be installed only in the current folder and it's not going to be accessible anywhere else. But we want to install this Angular CLI globally so that we can use it in other projects as well. Okay, so that's why we have specified this global. Now in short, you can also write it as G. Then we want to install Angular CLI. For that, we can say at Angular slash CLI. And here we want to install the latest version of Angular CLI. So after this, let's also specify latest. Now, if you are on Mac and you are using Terminal, then you need to use sudo at the beginning of this command to run it as administrator. There, it will ask for your password, provide your administrator password, and then press enter to start installing Angular CLI. So here, Angular CLI is installed. Now, just to ensure that the Angular CLI is successfully installed on your machine, type this command ng- version and press enter and if the angular cli is successfully installed on your machine then you can see the version of the angular cli which has been installed but if you are seeing any error here that means that angular cli is not installed successfully in that case you can try reinstalling it once the angular cli is installed now we are ready to create our first angular project and to create a new angular project first we need to move to the folder where we want to create this new project. Now, one thing to remember here is that the folder or the directory in which you want to create your Angular project should be an existing directory. Okay. So I want to create my Angular project inside this directory. So in C drive, I have this Angular courses folder and I want to create my new Angular project inside this folder. So let's go back to command prompt and here First, we need to move to that folder location. For that, we can type cd command and then the path of that 
folder which is C drive angular courses. Press enter. And now in order to create a new project, we can use ng new and then we can specify the project name. I am going to call this project angular basics. Now when I press enter, it will ask few questions before creating the project. So first it is asking whether we would like to add an angular routing. For now, we don't want to add any routing. We will talk about routing in great detail in the future lecture of this course. But for now, let's type n and press enter. Then it is asking which style sheet format we would like to use. So here I am going to use CSS style sheet format. But you have other options like SCSS, SAS, LESS, etc. So whichever you want to use, you can select that. Here let's keep the default CSS style sheet format and press enter. Now this will generate a bunch of files and folders and then it's going to use npm to download some third party libraries. So here you can see it is installing some packages from npm. These packages are required to develop and run angular projects. All right, so the packages has been installed and the project has been created. So let's go to angular course folder. And here you can see a new folder called angular basic has been created. And this is the name which, which I specified for my project name, right? If I go inside this folder, you will see a bunch of files and folders generated here. Okay, so in this way, we have created a brand new angular project. Now let's see how to run this project in the browser. To compile and run an angular project, we can use ng serve command. To use this command, first we need to move to the project folder and then we can type this command. Let's see that. So currently I am in C drive angular course folder and inside this angular course folder we have our project folder, right? And the name of the project folder is angular basics. So first we need to move to this folder, this angular basics folder. For that, let's again use this CD command for change directory and the name of the folder is angular basics. Let's press enter and now I'm in angular basics folder. Now here let's type ng serve command and press enter. This ng serve command will first you know uh, compile the angular project and it will generate some bundles and then it will also open a live development server where this project will be running. So the project has been compiled, some bundle files has been generated and now we can go to this URL to see how this Angular project looks in the browser. So let's copy this URL. Let's go to browser. Let's open a new tab and let's paste the URL here and let's press enter. So this is how our Angular project looks currently. So you can say that this is the default look of your newly created Angular project. Now we can of course modify the look and feel of this web page and we will do that in our coming lectures. So in this lecture you learn how to create an angular project and how to run it in the browser. If you have any question related to this lecture then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.